Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what our routine looks like, what I do to kind of prepare myself for a good week. So yeah, our routine has changed slightly. Um, you guys will get to see everything that we did today and how I kind of prepared for that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, September 12th, and it is 6.50 p.m. I was gonna cover up that Shein notification, but what for? There it is, 6.50 p.m. And I am in the homeschool room right now about to read up on my lessons and see if I need to gather any materials for tomorrow. Uh, this is probably gonna be part of another video. I kind of figured I, sh I would show you guys what I do to prep uh, for our lessons. <clears throat> So this might be part of like a routine, like a homeschool mom routine. And I just want to start off by kind of saying that this is not the case every single time. I don't always prep this early. There are um, days and weeks where I will literally read up on the lesson and gather my material right before we start. So today I had time and I figured I might show you guys and just share what i do yes okay give me a second guys okay so here we are again this is my storage bin where i keep every lesson plan every uh workbook i don't know if you guys know yet um i do have a video on this channel about it but this year we're doing moving beyond the page um we have been enjoying the curriculum and what I do is basically I put a little tab. This is my teacher's manual or parent manual. And then this is the student activity book. So this is where we're at. And I have every single subject in here. Um, so I'm going to go through the parent manual right now, go through the lesson plan for tomorrow. Um, I might even just see kind of skim through the week and see if I have to go and get um, anything because I have already had that situation happen I thought they had mailed everything that I needed but there are certain things that aren't provided so it's easier to have everything on hand so that when we do start up our lesson um, it's just easier everything flows quicker and I have a little notebook here <clears throat> just in case I need to go out and buy something so this is just an example of what I'm going to do. Basically, I'm going to read the lesson plan. Um, I have the materials listed here. So I'm going to go through the materials and see if I need to go out and get anything or just gather the stuff that I'm going to need. But um, yeah, I can already tell um, this is something that they did not provide. So I'm going to have to get my own. This is a styrofoam egg carton and um, a trash bag, which we have both of those things on hand. Um, we don't have the screen pipe cleaners, so yeah, um, we might have to go out and get that this week. So I don't know if we're going to be able to work on this lesson for Monday, um, or this particular activity. We can always move the activity and do it like later on in the week, which is a good way to kind of refresh on the stuff that we were learning. But yeah, this is kind of just an overview of what this looks like and what I'm basically doing right now. Okay, you guys. Ugh. That took me about 30 minutes, more or less. Um, I also got interrupted a bunch of times by the kids, but there it is. My tabs are in their new places now. I read up on um, the lessons and I have my list of things that I will need together which isn't too much luckily um this will put us in a really good place this week so or at least for the next few days because i kind of read up on like the next few days there are lessons for instance like this one that's right on top it'll tell you this lesson itself takes two days so i know what i'm going to be doing for monday and tuesday now so um um so this is what i was talking about so i got this on amazon this is like a little weekly menu so you get to write out your meal ideas um it's really came in handy uh i don't really kind of do it in this order i'll show you guys what i do uh but yeah this is hanging on my fridge i'm gonna clean it up and kind of start it up for the next week this is last week's menu 
and I'll show you guys how I do this. All right, so there it is, you guys. Basically, I filled it in. Um, this is what we have going on for lunch this week. And I kind of started doing this thing where I basically write out meals based on what I have in the fridge. And I don't necessarily eat it in this order, but it just helps me kind of look at this really quickly remember i have either ground turkey or sandwiches i have everything needed to basically make these meals and it just saves me time to kind of you know quickly glance at this and just make whatever i have to make in the fridge and then this is something that i just did today right now basically i wrote out the snacks that i have in here and the kids have this for snack options so they'll be they'll be able to tell me oh i want mango or yogurt or cheez it's or watermelon and yeah um this is something simple and quick to kind of just save me time i can go ahead and link this uh little menu if you guys want um i got it on amazon and it did come with some little markers those dried up really quickly though i had to buy my own now and yeah these are pretty cute it came with like a set of four i think there's another one over here on this side yeah there's five okay good morning so it's the next day and i'm back in the kitchen i'm about to make breakfast and pack george's lunch um yeah this is the time i'm usually in the kitchen again hey guys so the time is about 8 15 right now we just finished up breakfast george left for work i am about to reheat my coffee and do my bible reading and then get on with like cleaning getting ready for the day and all of that um this is our usual time so this is kind of like what our routine has changed to now since we started the year um with george's new schedule and our new curriculum and all of that the kids are back there now you guys want to say hi there they are okay brought out the kids morning basket so that'll keep them a little bit busy while i do my reading over here on this corner this is this is my little side over here when i read my bible hi now jakey wants to say hi i had to force him to say good morning earlier but yeah this is my bible this is where i sit this is my view every morning and if i look outside yeah i actually didn't have enough coffee to warm up this morning so i'm just gonna drink that little bit but yeah you guys in case you guys are wondering where i'm at in the bible since um i did share that i'm doing like a read through i am now in hebrew Hi. and yeah we're gonna get started Maybe. yeah okay hey guys just checking in it is 9 22 and i am barely done reading um today i feel like i took a little longer than usual i i just really got into my reading and my journaling so um this happened but i i'm gonna start cleaning up now i have a mess in the kitchen still from breakfast and then i will go ahead and get ready for the day and we will start up our lessons the kids should be cleaning their room i think they're playing though let's go check on them can we clean up our room now <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm done in the kitchen. Um, I'm about to jump in the shower. I just quickly wanted to mention I just took my vitamins. Um, I've been on top of taking vitamins for obvious reasons. Um, so this is part of my routine, I guess. Um, in case you guys are wondering, these are, th are the Rainbow Light Women's Vitamins. George takes the men's. And yeah, to be quite honest, I don't know if I noticed so much of a difference in my energy because I think this is supposed to, oh, I'm sorry, wrong ones. These are supposed to support your immune system, your bone and your brain health. I don't know if I've noticed too much of an energy boost, um, but I don't think they promote that. So I don't know what, where I was going with that. Anyway, I'm gonna go get ready now and I'll come back when I'm ready. Hey guys, so it is 11, it's 11 a.m., 11.01. I am switching the clothes from the washer to the dryer. We haven't started lessons, but we will start right after this. So yeah, you guys will see that next. And I just wanted to check in and tell you guys I got ready. Um, 
took a nice long shower I had to shave my legs so yeah this took a little longer than I anticipated but it's okay we're right on track not we're not late or behind um, I do like starting lessons kind of around this time sometimes we start about an hour earlier and we finish a little earlier obviously we start earlier but it's okay we don't have much to do today and you guys will see when we start our lessons here we are guys on the kitchen table Jakey wants to start I bring a bunch of stuff for him so he can get distracted these are perfectly safe scissors you guys and he has his own markers too yay so you guys saw me organizing this bin yesterday everything's in here nicely organized we are gonna just start knocking these out everything should be ready for me and it is about 11 17. i know the kids are going to be asking me for a snack pretty soon so we're going to get started with one lesson see how long we last and then we have to put jiki down for his nap around 1 30 ish um maybe 12 let's see because it is 11 17 right now so yeah look rice they eat lots of rice right so how about we just do like three little bullet points okay then one of them should be rice. Hey guys, so the time is about 12.30. Uh, we are about to eat our lunch and we finished our first lesson for the day. It was quite a, a long lesson. Um, we had to do some research on another country and so that kind of was fun. It took a little longer than um, usual. So yeah, so yeah, we're just checking in and we'll let you guys know when we get back to lessons. Hey guys, so it is about 1.06, 1.06 p.m. We're back at it. Okay, good job, baby. I put Jakey down for his nap and I switched a load. I was washing some clothes and yeah, right now, this is the time that we usually go, go, go. So we'll do like the harder lessons that require us to be like fully engaged like math and science. This is when we get it done because with a toddler around it does get much harder. So we try to take advantage of the time of him being asleep. So right now we're going to just go, go, go. But yeah, you guys, I will let you guys know what time we're done. Yeah, hopefully this video isn't too long. I really just wanted to give you guys like a inside look on how things have changed, what our routine looks like, what homeschooling life requires um i'm pretty sure you with guys can tell with a toddler yes it's a lot of work with really multiples hard. so yeah you guys so if you have one child i hope it's easier for you <laughs> it is much easier i can i can already tell i i like not to do that because it doesn't really matter but i do Mom, think guys are dying yeah it's almost dead i do like to think like wow what would life be like if we just had one there's really no point in us thinking like that because we do have jacob and we love him and we want to have more kids so we just got to get used to being busy and trying to figure out like how to best use our time Ooh, i want one because I yeah want anyway that's a whole nother topic but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and charge my battery showing you guys i made myself a second cup of coffee, coffee. we are still going at it it is about 120 right now but this is the time where i need a little pick me up so cold coffee it is this one. Nine. Nine is here. What do we call that? It's a not even number. So we call that an odd mm -hmm. number. Okay. Next one. Nine. Hmm. Good one. Later. Thirty-three. It's this one. What do we call it again? It's an odd number. Okay. So let's put it over here. We're gonna glue those in in a little bit. Mmm, smells good. Look at Come gas. Yeah? Let's just leave it there. Let's see how long when it's all fully. Hey guys, so we are done with our day. It is 3.22. You guys can hear Jakey's here now again. So yeah, you guys, we are done with our lessons. Um, now I gotta clean up this mess on the table. But before I do that, I have to send out work samples. Um, it's that time of the month again. Um, this will be my first time sending work samples to our new teacher at the charter school. So I got to do all of that like ASAP. Um, they're not due until the 16th, but I want to be like early so I can just stop thinking about it because I'm just that kind of person. I want to take care of business like as soon as I can and then be done with it. But yeah, you guys, 
Other than that, I still gotta work on dinner. I gotta go fold all my clothes. I still have a load in the dryer and I think I have to do like another cycle because um, it's our covers, like our sheets and stuff from our bed. Yeah, it is 3.30. I don't know if I said that earlier, but um, yeah, that's basically what our day kind of looks like. This is our new routine, I guess you can say, with the new year. Um, Lily being in second grade now, us doing the charter school. And as you guys saw, there's a lot of kind of preparation behind us having a good week. Um, if I don't do this, I feel like I'm barely keeping my head above water. If you guys are homeschoolers, you guys know how that is. So yeah, you guys, that's basically it. We hope you enjoyed watching our new routine. What are you doing? <laughs> if you guys want to see more routine videos, smash that like button! We'll see you guys on the next one. Say bye, guys. Bye! Jakey, say bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.